In this video, I'm going to give you a tour of my updated workspace and the process of building this new setup. Overall, the goal is to have a clean and organized workspace that is minimal in design while retaining warmth and personality. As I have a day job, I want a space that will provide the least amount of friction for doing creative work and making video content. This means having a setup where I can easily switch between my day job and creating content. I'm also looking for an accessible place to store camera gear and lenses, easy way to store cables, charge batteries, and store data. While the previous setup is relatively organized, there are some parts that have been heavily neglected. I realized that I've mostly been hiding things in my drawer instead of organizing. The cables below the desk have also gotten slightly out of control, while the desk itself started to get packed with camera gear since I started YouTube a couple months ago. The first step is to declutter. I picked up a couple of boxes to get rid of things I no longer need inside my drawer. Old paper documents, boxes, and random miscellaneous stuff. Once I empty the drawer, it's time to plug off all electronics and take things off the desk. This will allow me to reroute all the cables properly on the new desk. I sold both desk and drawer back to IKEA through their buyback program and used the funds to purchase a new desk and drawer. I opted for the Salgen Oak kitchen countertop and the backhand storage unit. The countertop is way thicker and heavier than the Lindman tabletop that I'm used to. It feels really solid and looks to be a great option for those looking for a step up from the basic Lindman tabletop but also looking to save some budget. While I'm pretty proficient in building IKEA furnitures, the backhand storage unit is a bit more challenging than the standard IKEA drawers I've built in the past. The whole process took me about 3 hours, from building the drawer, drilling the legs on the countertop, and adding cable management systems. The end product however is worth it. The matte black metal finish complements the artworks and shelf, while the wooden tone adds warmth and complements the oak tabletop. Once the desk is done, it's time to add some finishing touches. Prior to starting the project, I've ordered a couple of goods to complete my new desk. An under desk drawer, charging hub, leather desk mat, braided cables, and cable raceway kit. First is cable management. A cable trunk underneath the desk to sort the power strip, a couple of cable raceways throughout all the cables, and another power strip at the back of the drawer. The backhand storage unit also comes with a cable hole which is perfect for my setup. I'm happy with the result as I can no longer see any cables even when sitting down from a distance. To keep my desktop organized, I installed a slim under desk drawer which allows me to store all frequent news items and a place to charge my devices. I have to get a little creative when installing this as I'm too impatient to wait for my girlfriend to come home. On the other side is the storage unit which I use as a place to store my cameras, charge extra batteries, and a drawer to store some stationeries, medicine, microphone, and a few documents that I've decided to keep. Once the bone of the setup is complete, it's time to do a quick cleanup before installing the computers and accessories. Now that it's clean, it's time to bring on all the hardware. I use two laptops, one for my day job and another for my personal use. I'm currently using the 2018 Dell XPS 15 which is also where I edit my video on. To save some space on my desk, I got a vertical laptop stand from Amazon which holds both of my laptop. I use the same dock from my previous setup to seamlessly switch between laptops. It has a USB-C output with power delivery. Both keyboard and mouse also remain unchanged. They are still in great condition and comfortable to use despite being 5 years old. Underneath I've added a leather desk mat from Orbit Key for extra comfort and to provide a visual break to the desk. It is made of vegan leather but feels premium to the touch. It also comes with a magnetic cable holder which is great to use when charging the mouse and keyboard. For the monitor, I'm still using the same 34-inch ultrawide from Samsung. The size and aspect ratio is great for work and video editing, 
while the panel offers great color and contrast for consuming content. To charge my phone, I place a Belkin wireless charger inside a valet tray which I also use to dump my wallet and earbuds. To the side is where I store some extra lenses. For the rest of the space, I wanted to keep a consistent color palette while adding some warmth and personality. Plants throughout the space give a more welcoming feel while accents of red and orange provides a little pop of color. I also have a diffuser at the corner of the desk which I occasionally use to unwind after a long day. The heart of the setup is the chair. Since I'll be spending most of my day here, I want the chair that will allow me to sit comfortably for long hours. I ended up with the Herman Miller Mira 2 which has completely eliminated my back issues. On the other side is a shelving unit from IKEA I used to display my Pokemon figures, books, and my Google Home Hub. I also display the Eames House Brit since I'm a big fan of mid-century design. For my artwork, it hasn't changed from the previous setup, with a collection of iconic mid-century furniture prints. A bonsai plant on the corner gives a contrast to an otherwise monochrome setup. While being productive is important, it is just as important to relax. I designed this little spot with a nice armchair and scone lamp to decompress. This spot is perfect for reading books and magazines. The chair is made of a soft touch velvet and is very comfortable to sit on. I installed a Philips Hue lamp to be able to change the temperature of the bulbs depending on the time of day. To the other corner I also have a nano leaf light panel which gives a really nice ambiance at night. And that's an update to my workspace. I'm happy with how it turned out and it has really helped me in my overall goal to streamline my work and creative process. As I've mentioned in my previous desk tour, a workspace is never truly completed and will constantly evolve with our changing needs. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.